morning to yet another review and today Tom was busy again. I just hit bits. They sent me something new because request was even from my side because many people ask me um, I like the thumb protector they have but I need something when I do string twist or something I get here a blister or a colors or something. So what did Tom simply do? develop something new and it rhymes isn't it awesome so you have your wristband as you know it you have your thumb protector as you know it the color combination is very nice thank you tom me and red yes, yes of course it's too a bit too kinky and too fancy so look at this you slide your thumb in here of course if you open these bands it works a little easier and oh, whoops, I, forgot, I forgot this one you put this one on your index finger all the way back, look at this. Huh? And then once you have them on, you simply tie all these here in a second. So, so look at this. And of course, you only have two hands. Mm -hmm. Done. Setting up easy, goes quick. And then you have your here when you do string twist or something. So let's directly test it. Of course we know all his thumb protectors, they are great. And now we have these here and of course look what he did. Oh, oh, oh. Let's see how it works. Enjoy. Knocking, fiddling in and out is easy. So there's nothing stopping you from loading even fast. And then oh, these knocks are a little too wide for the string. And then look, you have your index finger and you can do your string twist like this without getting some blisters or something on your hand. Whit. String twist, boom, oh, nice. Of course, it's a special use case. Not everybody might need it, but it's nice to have. And maybe you can make it as a modular design that you can remove this so you can use only with, and it yeah, could work actually but it's up to him <laughs> nice so here you have then really place to put a little string twist works just nice and as expected didn't expect anything less than this works nice what i don't like that much is that this seam that you stitched it like this together like this would have been nicer here for me so this would not interfere with this finger but I guess it's more comfortable for the index finger in this way and it pinches a little better I understand why you did it it's simply here a little but it's minor minor pretty the color is really nice thank you and for the rest it works look at you can do everything nice Pretty, works nice. It's only twenty pounds an egg. Hmm. It's not in the way. So when you use it, you don't even feel that you have it, even if you load here, nothing interferes with anything. It's just nice. But that was not all what he sent me. The other thing was that many people get scratches here, as said, and I repeat myself again, check the video from Bamboo Archery Malaysia. He explains if you send down the side of the quilt, then you don't get these scratches. You don't need to knock your arrow way higher because then it's simply and slide over it without scratching you. Uh, but if you don't, or if you still like to have one, there we go. Tom made a solution for you. Look at this. 
I only need to figure how this works now. It's for the thumb and for the index, I guess. Wait a second, it's not wrong. Well, one second. I'm there in a, in a minute. So like this. Huh? Like this. Oh, yeah. Sure. Then you put this on the index and this on the thumb. It's really fancy. So. Ooh, nice. So now my watch is in the way. Not on my watch. <laughs> okay. I don't find it that funny. Oh, and now we have a different locking mechanism with one of these, you know, with the spring loaded. Huh? Nice. Look at this. So, there are many out there like this stuff. And now, however you shoot, if you shoot, and of course I have now a bow with an arrow shelf on, but you will simply, maybe I get one. Even if you shoot three fingers, the arrow will scratch over the leather, and if you shoot thumb release, then the arrow will run over the leather and not scratch your finger anymore. Question is, could we use this as a zipper, as an overdraw device? No, I'm, jo I'm joking, I'm joking, guys. I'm joking. I hold now the bow very high, so it's as if I shoot from my bare hand. Nice. Gives you the same feeling, and even if you m make your feathers, and you shoot carbon arrows. You know, I had this once. I didn't check the carbon arrows in our range in Valletta. And I shot one of these small flat bows from Flagilla Day, one arrow like this. Bam! And then the carbon shaft exploded and went here through my fingers. So even for this point of safety, if you have a wood shaft or a carbon shaft and it might splinter or break, or even if the fletching comes off, you know, not everybody uh, secures the fletching here in the front. You put a drop of super glue, we put some tape on it here. But just in case it did not work and the fletching is pointing a little away, you shoot over your bare hand, it can happen that you shoot the fletching, the quilt into your hand, which is not a nice thing. So this protection, again, color combination, but well, it doesn't matter now. Uh, then you're protected from all these possible damages. So that's why it's not so bad. And here it's not so bugging that this uh, leather is stitched together like this because nothing is in the way. But let's see now. So you don't need to knock higher now because you shoot directly. You don't scratch yourself anymore. You don't have to worry. Of course there are these cheap Y gloves out there, but you know. So now you see. See the scratch on the leather? because of the fletching. <laughs> we'll get a bit scratched, but it's quite durable here, so that's not a problem. I said, of course, there are these cheap white gloves out there, but if you already are in this ecosystem of Tom's stuff, you know, and you want to have the same leather color, maybe, you know, that they match the colors and stuff with all the other equipment, then it makes sense. It's a little more expensive, I guess. You know, these white gloves cost, I don't know, 10, 15 euros. This one most probably is something like 30, 35. I don't know, he didn't give me a price and this is the same. So please check Archer's tidbits. He can tell you the prices and everything. I don't know. He sent them now to me that I test them and I like them. And now they get even a little more flexible. And then you you feel safer. It's, it's, for some it's important. I said once you have it on you forget that you have it on it so it doesn't interfere with anything and when you're done where did I put the end part now? <laughs> where did I tuck it? There. Bzz. 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 And 
of course once you have it a few times on it works a little better so just nice see then you get them in the color and in whatever you like really nice Tom I like what you're doing oh, I didn't open it wide enough so this is a little tricky for my big hands but you get there easily nice so now we have this and we have this and there's something new coming <laughs> for but yes, you, you will see we see when it's here where did I put this one now there yeah. Really? Did I? No. There it is. Oh, so look. Put your done. Open it. Zack, zack. Put your thumb away and put your index away. Look, it's easy peasy. And it's not so confusing anymore like in the beginning that I didn't know how to put it on. That I had to figure out this one is really self-explanatory and it's really pretty. So. Thank you, Tom, for making them, for sending them to me so I could test them. Simply price-wise and colors and materials, simply ask directly Tom from Archer's Titbits. He will tell you everything. He's a really nice guy and I have no idea of the prices. Thank you, Tom, for making them. Really interesting. Go check them out. And I thank you all for watching. And i catch you in the next one.